Mm -hmm. On today's IOD Christmas special, we will be making this special silent night pillow. Okay guys, sorry about the cheesy opener. We we're just having a little bit of fun there. But we are going to be making a silent, it was a little cheesy. Silent night pillow using our typesetting and our Lady of Shalott, a little floral Christmas time. Nothing wrong with that. We'll be showing you some really cool techniques to use with your IOD stamps and fabric. All right you guys, let's just jump right in. We've got this pillowcase and it is a 20 by 20. It's a cotton linen. It's beautiful. It has, and this is important, yes, you Josie has something to say. You mentioned what it's made of. And that's important because when you're stamping, you want to be ideally on natural, preferably cotton yes. fabrics. The best for that good mechanical, Engagement. I might was gonna say that, but I'm glad you did. Okay, good. <laughs> glad I could be a pet. And also a nice flat weave. Nothing too chunky um, or textury because you want something nice and smooth for the best impression. For a frame of reference, mm -hmm. would you say, because I would say that this has a nice linen texture. Yes. It's not too chunky or nubby, but for a frame of reference. It does have a little texture yeah, to it. Yeah, so like a linen -y texture is fine. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. But it's still smooth, which yeah. is nice. So yeah, I'm going to do a floral using our Lady of Shalott, like we mentioned earlier. And I'm doing red. We're gonna use tomato because I want it to work with my house for Christmas. Ooh, yes, that's and an unusual twist. I <laughs> I like it. Well, for a floral, oh, you okay. don't typically think Christmas, I thought you were but being, I love it. Yeah, I thought you were being funny. Yeah. I'm going to show I us am, but. Inking, <laughs> inking the stamp pad so you guys can see it being done. And typically, yes, she's moving it. Okay, good. Good idea. I was going to say, typically you don't want to do this over your project. In but I world. just hold it flat and then lightly squeeze. The ink comes right out and I go right up pretty darn close to the edges there so that you have the most surface with ink on it, but not to the very edge because I don't like mine messy. Josie goes a little closer to her edge because she doesn't mind getting all messy. I don't like the blank spots on the pad because I feel like that's then picking ink up. Mm. that you're purposing to put down mm. onto your stamp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then once the ink is laid in, I just use the, I stop squeezing and I use the tip to kind of work it in. Just in little circular motions and just work it in like so. Look how thick and rich. It's pigment beautiful. Rich. And I love the color. Oh, tomato. Yes. So beautiful. It's a nice warm red. I think I need more coffee and mm. animation. Oh, mm. <laughs> that should be interesting. Okay, so we've got it all inked up. Yay, I'm gonna set this aside. And do you mind inking that one sure. while I get started over here with the green? Not at all. Grass green, I love our new inks. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to play with our new inks, please do. They are beautiful and yes. rich, they work for all kinds of different surfaces, including fabric and furniture, shake wood it. projects. Shake, shake it. it, shake, shake it. it. Always shake your okay. mediums, mixing that pigment with the carrier. And I put a board. Now this board could stand to be a little bit bigger because it's not going to the edges, but I'm working with what I've got. And this is, I think, probably a 16, between 16 and 17 by 16 and 17 square. And I put it right in the middle so that I, so I'm not bleeding through to the back of the pillow. 
okay? And I'm just kind of shifting it around where I need it in the corner. So we're gonna start in the lower corner. I've got my zipper down here. And we are going to dive into masking. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna start with my lower corner and I'm going to use the largest bloom in the Lady of Shalott right here. Mm. Okay, so first, I lay down my first impression. This is a nice, fresh, juicy ink pad. If you need to re-ink your pads, make sure you do so. You want it nice and juicy when you're going on fabric to get mm -hmm. all into that texture of the weave of the fabric. Okay, so it soaks in nicely. Every surface is gonna take the stamps a little bit differently, so practice makes perfect. Okay, okay. Well, I. <laughs> best you're practice. You're right, you're right. Best practice. Don't ink your pads on, on your, your pillow. project. My pillows always come out with a little bit of te extra texture. And that's okay too. <laughs> if that's what you're purposing. <laughs> okay, so I've got the bloom all inked up. Mm, so pretty. I'm going to go flat down. Don't shift. I stay an extra little bit of time when I'm working on fabric to give the contact time to really sink in with that ink. Because the weave of the fabric is different than like paper or even paint. You've got more depth and texture, your highs yep. and your lows. Yep, yep, yep. And I like a nice dark impression. And so I just kind of use one hand to hold it still, use the other hand, and then I'll slowly tray. Don't shift that design, and then lift up. Mm, so pretty. And there it is. Beautiful. I think on this um, tan linen, it's actually coming out to a cooler pink than it usually, the tomato usually yeah. is. That's fun, I'll go with it, I like it. Well, and the studio lighting is okay. cooler. It's on the cool side. It's really beautiful. Yes, but yeah. that is probably. It almost right looks as like well. um, uh, pink tower. Oh yes, pink it tower. does. That tool. Okay, then I'm gonna take the same stamp. I don't need to re-ink it, and I'm gonna lay it down on a just a blank piece of copy paper, and I want to get those edges. That's what's important here because I'm creating a mask for this bloom for when I go back in. That's a big bloom. With another bloom. We like, like big, big blooms. blooms and we cannot lie. And then I'm going to cut it out and I'll show you that. I like to go really nice and tight with my lines. Some people like to leave a little bit more of a gap on their edges, but I like my lines to butt up to each other nice and tight, okay? Now, because of the magic of video, we already have one over here on the side cut, so I won't make you painfully watch me do that entire process. And you lay it over, feel free to uh, chime in if you see anything. Not at all. I'm not but, telling them. But because we have a nice overhead here, mm -hmm. you can, you can see, like where, where you're doing that, you can see how this lines up nicely. Mm -hmm. And rather than doing there yeah. or there, mm -mm. if you get it nice right and up. aligned right up, mm -hmm. that's gonna be your most accurate results. Right, because the whole point is you don't wanna muddy that design. So, now I'm going with my next bloom and I'm gonna go with this beautiful one right here. Just a slightly smaller bloom. And I'm gonna go right over the top and this is blocking because we're masking it's blocking the design below so that you're not overlapping again going on nice and juicy and complete i really do love the lady of shallot mm, design it's, it's just yes so rich. and there's so many blooms in this uh design mm -hmm. that you can get so many different patterns without showing that yeah. annoying repeat that completely different I don't like in bouquet arrangements yes 
You can do corners, you can do framing, you can do all over patterns. It's one of our most versatile florals, I think. Okay, and I'm gonna go right there and down and using my other hand, I'm holding it nice and firm, not shifting. Okay, and up, and there we go, Beautiful. and boom. That's an, that's an exact example mm. of the power of masking. If you stamp, you need a mask. You and it's need easy. to get that skill. Just it's so practice. easy. I mean, practice. It's, honestly, it's kindergarten easy. You're just cutting things out, laying them down. Yes. Okay. Okay, so keep your masks on there as you go. This one's already cut out, so we're ready to go. We were so prepared today. And just line it up, find your... Sometimes it takes a minute there. to yeah, line to your find bumps it, up. To line your bumps up, there we go. Awesome. That is done, now I'm gonna add a leaf in. So you ink my pad? There's a big, I did. Awesome. All right, so I'm just going to juice up. Ooh, this one's nice and juicy. Thank you, Josie. That one you inked up really well. I'm gonna go in with some leaves. Now we've got our green and our red for Christmas. Woohoo! Okay. And I'm gonna go, let's go right there. Done. I'm just realizing I think I cut. I think I cut into where I'm putting the words. We'll have to adjust <laughs> and do something different. That's okay. I love this grass green. It's got a lot of yellow in it, so it's nice and vibrant. And just in case you didn't know this, our inks are mixable. So we went with colors that um, you have, we have a red and a blue and a yellow so that you can create any color you want. And I'm mixing white and black so you can tone it. Boom! Oh, that's such a pretty color Boom. on that Love tan it. linen. I do too. Love All it! All right, so now we've got... Be gentle with that. I know, it's almost, it's falling apart. We've used it a couple times. You can reuse your masks, so keep them, save them. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with a, another blossom down here. And we'll go, where's my red ink? Here it is. I stored it upside down. Mm-hmm, yes, in store your lid. That's upside down. So that your lid is facing down. What that does is it keeps your ink near the at the surface of the foam mm -hmm. so it's readily available and stays juicier. As you're inking your stamps, oh, I should also talk about, we cut this stamp apart. Some of our stamp designs are best used cut apart. In fact, quite Very a convenient. few of them. Very convenient. Birds, branches, blossoms, painterly roses, Lady of Shalott that we're using today. You just cut them apart and then they're ready to go right on their backing. But what I was going to say is when you're inking them up and if you get a particularly large amount of ink on there, you can just reach for your wipey and quickly remove it. You don't have to do that. A lot of times it's not going to transfer onto your design because it's up higher, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, do I still have board under there? Yep, yes, I do. And I'm gonna go right there. All righty. And up. Do you want to mask it? Yeah, let's mask it. And I'm gonna shift the board over so I can put some leaves coming up from this corner over there. I love florals. They're my favorite. I have them all over my house and I love that I can take my stamps and all my ink colors and make any kind of floral that I want. Mm. 
in any pattern and so it is really hard to find good florals nowadays when I'm shopping. So I really like the fact that I have a little more control over that. Well, and if you're a person who loves a good floral, mm -hmm. and you know, florals are classic in our opinion, and even if you're boho, mixing florals oh, yeah. in with Indian prints, oh my gosh. Love that. Love it. <laughs> or if you're a tone on tone, mm -hmm. like, you know, really love all the whites and neutrals. Obviously, Ooh, yeah. you can do your florals and neutrals. Yes. I feel like it's kind of like wine. When I was in the service, I was a server at a fine dining restaurant talking about wine is, there's really a wine for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of finding what you love. It's kind of like the same I've heard with red lipstick. Mm -hmm. I know it for blonde hair. There's a blonde for everyone. It's just whether it's a warm blonde or a cool blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wearing this one out yes. a little bit? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Ooh, I Beautiful. Love it. I like to lift the mask just to peeky peeky every once in a while. Okay, now I want to kind of fill in down here, so I'm gonna take this larger leaf and fill it in, create some corner weight. Do you need to mask off that little little leaf you just did? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Masking really works well with florals. One of the fun things is when it's the reveal at the end because as you're building up a design with lots of impressions and you're covering them as you go, mm -hmm. then when you take them all off and see it, it's fun. Yes, it is. Is that? Yeah. Here, tilt okay. that so that's there. Okay, I don't really want it to go off that corner. Can you pull it up so that just like this? You mean push. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. It's fine. I'm gonna just go like this. Okay. What's really nice is you can, with the masking, you can go leaf over leaf. And again, you still have that clarity of the design as you layer up. And it's just like in real life, when you look at florals, when you look at a rose bush, there are a lot of leaves and there, there's a lot of depth and shadowing and layering of the leaves. And so I like to emulate that. Okay. Awesome. See? Pretty. It's like a background leaf now. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's very Christmassy too. Yes, it is. All kinds of Christmassy. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm using this mask over here. So let me think what I want to do next. I think I want to... Is this long enough to connect? Yeah, we'll connect this right here. Oh, fun. Right about there. And we'll be fine. You know what would be a fun thing to do too? Mm -hmm. Is don't span it all the way so you can see how easily it, like do this. Oh, and okay. then And then connect it so you can oh, see. So how we can connect Yeah, those. how you can connect them and make okay. them however long you need them to be. Nice. You're right, I really like that. All those little tools just yes. empower you to do more with your stamps. You know what, I am going to call that good because I feel I was gonna go all around, but I need more room up here for my words. Plus I like that how it's weighted more heavily on the bottom. I do too. It's really nice. I am going to leave my masks in place because I like to layer the words and um, over the design Oh, yeah. And that so way it be just kind of all looks it. kind oh. of the same. Um, yeah, it, I don't know, intertwines, that's not the word. Layered? Uh, yeah. No, eh. I can't remember. 
No. <laughs> All right, so as we have said before, you want to season your stamps. These are brand new. This is typesetting that we're using. And so. Um, the set is brand new. Typesetting is not brand new. No, correct. The, the set is brand new. But I feel like we must have opened it before because there's a piece of <laughs> Lady of Shalott on there. <laughs> so I'm quite sure we have used this stamp set before. So they're not brand new. And that's okay. Oh, happy accident. Put that bad boy down there. I like it. Okay. Okay. So I am going to say, since I'm feeling like I'm not getting to do anything and you're being a little dark and controlling. <laughs> <laughs> right. I tease. Just laying out my silent night here. Isn't this gonna be pretty? I love that song. It's just a classic, peaceful Christmas song. And our typesetting is, speaking of classic, <laughs> that was a cheesy segue. <laughs> speaking of classic, our typesetting is a really nice, Serif font. I went a little rogue. What is happening? No, I just added oh. a tiny bit of red to the. I love so it. That, I just used the stem. Oh, to just. This is happening live, guys. You are seeing <laughs> a new technique being developed right in front of your eyes. I like that. Yeah. So you just used. You could even just I go in with a little red, brush. A little probably. brush. Yeah, totally. And just make a little spot of yeah. the little blossom point peeking through. It makes a difference. I really like that. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The spacing. I think it would be cute mm -hmm. to have a little bit of like that'll be like yeah. the I or the G or something behind that leaf. Mm-hmm. Yes. You are seeing the same thing I am seeing. Yes. Well, and sometimes. Do you see what I see? But let's make sure and have an end. We should do the entire episode right now oh, with no. Christmas songs. And, okay, so we used to play these games when we were little. Like you could only answer in a song oh, yes. or a song title, right? That was fun. Fun time. Do you think we should straighten those out? <laughs> Okay, weirdo. Yes, let's straighten these out. Let me pull this little tool out of my pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a dork. I know, right? <laughs> it's excessive. It's bigger than you need, but yes. it's what we had on hand. So, <laughs> so it's what we're gonna use At today. home, you can just use a square or um, yeah. a metal ruler. So just use this as an edge to bump your mm -hmm. letters down to it. Just to get your letters all Just lined up. Just to get up. them lined up and mm -hmm. straight. Some of these bad boys even have a level, which could come in handy. Yes, if you're doing it on a vertical surface. Totes. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll come in with the our gridded. Thin Every mount. once in a while, just check your masks. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. And then go overhead. Oh yeah. So keep, that you, yes. Keep your head out of the mm -hmm. way. And eyeball it. We are trying to keep our head out of the way of the camera above. When you're at home, you will want to look over the top, like so. But I think we are good. The letters shifted a tiny bit, but I am not gonna stress it. Okay, and they are on, and then I'm gonna go in with the red. Lots and lots of red. Oh, look at all that beautiful red paint. Sorry. So noisy. Sorry, that's okay. <laughs> We 
good? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me go, let me go. Okay. Okay. And we are, is that right about right? Right yeah. there. Yeah. And what's cool is you can use the edge of your thin mount to kind of line it up with, so you're perpendicular to the edges of your project. Mm hmm for a basic guide. We can cut a lot of this out. Just well, a even bit. sometimes doing a little bit of a speed up on the mm -hmm. repetitive spots it's kind of a just fun. A, a wee bit. He did not give any acknowledgement. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Silent. Now, what would happen <laughs> if we just left it like that? I feel would like that questions? would be the no. That would be the perfect pillow to have at my house. <laughs> at all times, I could just point to the pillow. Silent. Go. I was thinking I like, like your I might guests, just leave it. your I guests might just leave it. would be wondering, <laughs> like, what's up with your silent pillow? It's a little bit strange. No. The guests that come over to our house would totally understand the silent pillow. <laughs> okay, so let's. Okay. Um, and they would be thankful for the silent pillow. <laughs> And the A. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna be facing it down, so I need to clean those off. You are. That's why I was actually thinking we could just line them, do it on the paper. Oh, oh sure, sure, sure. And then that's a good idea. Okay. I just kind of thought of it on the fly. Again, just <laughs> happening live, right happening in front of your live. eyes. Love that idea. Now, let me see what happens if we can use the ruler to straighten it. Yeah, it's yes. just kind of. Can... Is that straight? Yeah. Ish. 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 Enough. Okay. Enough. Yeah. Okay. I think so. So. There we go. You always want to make sure that the backs of your stamp that is connecting to the plastic is clean and dry as well as the thin mount. You want that always clean and dry. Yes. Okay, how is that? Is that gonna fit nicely? I think so. You can hover over and see. Ooh. It's perfect. Yes. I love, oops. <laughs> it's just, static. Oh, it's the static. static. It's picking up the mask. mask. Okay. So All right, I'm ink gonna, that bad boy. Yes, let's ink, ink it. it. Let's do it. Let's finish this up and then Come take on. the mask. My caffeine's kicking in. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh, where's our ink? Where's oh, our ink go? It's over here. Yeah. Here's our red. Silent. Is this on camera? Okay. Make sure. Ink that up nice and juicy. I'm so excited to put this pillow on my couch. I thought you were making it for me. Oh, <laughs> you can make your own. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. How about it? Okay. I like that little bit of behind mm -hmm. the leaf. That looks so really do cool. I. That is interesting to note that the static <laughs> yes. can lift your mask a little bit. <laughs> Depending, and the weather here is kind of like that right now. Yeah. Also, you do want to use a thin paper for your masks. If you use the thicker the paper that you use, it could leave a little bit of a gap. As you lay the ink down, it's not flush. So just keep that in mind too. If you're thinking, oh, I'll just use a thicker paper, you can do that. Just keep in mind it will leave a little bit of a, a little gap. Did you get over here already? I think so. Okay, because I like to get my letters nice and solid. And up. <gasps> Pretty. Yes. Okay. I love it. Love it. Okay, let's remove the masks. 
Remove the masks. Release the hounds. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. And so pretty. So pretty. I especially love that little accent right there. Yes, it's the best part of the Isn't pillow. The best part of the pillow. If I do say so. So now, how do we make this permanent so it can be washed later? Because yes, with our like inks, little hands get on it. And when you're stamping with our inks on fabric, you want to make sure that you allow it to dry and set for 24 hours, yes. and then heat set it with a hot iron, no steam, no steam. Before and then you you'll wash have it. minimal wear. Yes, minimal fading. Yes, yeah, minimal fading. Yes, right. um, but that 24 hours, that's a minimum. Don't shortcut it because mm -mm. it's not just about it being dry to the touch. Right. It's actually getting a little bit of cure going on yeah. and really engaging in those fibers. So, Little tip, I actually don't wash mine at all until I need to. So it goes on, it stays on there for days and days and days. And then the first time I wash it, I just remember to heat set it before I do so. All right, you guys, we had an awesome time showing you how to use some new techniques with your IOD stamps, specifically on fabric. And from our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas. Now, go, go make something beautiful. beautiful. Are you glad we have more energy now, no. Sean? No. No. Deck He's not. the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Okay, you're welcome. It's on fabric again. La 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 here we go. <laughs> Today on IOD's Christmas edition of crafting with your own. <laughs> you want to start with coffee? Perhaps. It always starts with coffee. Everything starts Everything with coffee. Everything starts with coffee. That's silent I, night. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so maybe you can cut it off at some point in there because <laughs> 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 you're editing magic. <laughs> Sorry, Sean.